What if getting more things doesn't make us happy, but ruins the planet? As well as ourselves, should we then not consider wanting less? Buddhist economics is one of the original approaches critical of consumption. Economics is only real as practiced, however, and the best real-life example of Buddhist economics today is the Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan's gross national happiness. And Buddhist economics generally focuses directly on happiness. Not like standard textbook economics that is about things that should make us happy but usually don't, such as more money. For many of us, the focus on happiness would be tough, however, because we don't really know or have forgotten what makes us happy. We must therefore be reminded of what that is, because we consume less once we realize ourselves that other things matter more. Yet Buddhist economics focuses on the middle path, not on voluntary poverty. Too many possessions may pull us down, but the Buddha himself reminds us that it is difficult to meditate when one is really hungry. Overly anti-material forms of Buddhism tend to be Western variants, luxury views for rich people. The middle path is not against development, but for development up to a point. Unfortunately, perhaps, we can't simply transfer Buddhist economics to the global West, but we can learn from it and reflect with it on what truly matters. Bhutan seems to be the only carbon negative country in the world today. Isn't that the ultimate policy success? It does come at a cost, but is the price for absolutizing the more which doesn't make us happy yet ruins the earth still worth paying if it ever was?